Typically, when we think about reducing our impact on climate change, we think about saving energy. But another way we can make a difference is by paying attention to when we're using energy, like pre-cooling your home late morning or running your dishwasher overnight. The sources of energy powering your home, what's referred to as the fuel mix, change throughout the day. At certain times, solar and wind are generating more power, so a greater proportion of the energy you use comes from renewable sources. But of course, it's not sunny 24-7, and the wind isn't always blowing. During these times, your energy can come from sources with high carbon intensity, like coal or natural gas power plants. Carbon intensity, or CI, is simply the number of pounds of carbon dioxide emitted when making a single unit of electricity, one kilowatt hour, which is equivalent to running your oven for about 30 minutes. Some fuel sources have high carbon intensity and produce greater carbon emissions, whereas other fuel sources produce low emissions and therefore have low or even zero carbon intensities. The carbon intensity number is based on the fuel mix the utilities in your region rely on, and it can fluctuate over the course of a day. This is where you come in. Sense shows your region's average carbon intensity in real time, and it lets you look ahead so you can plan your high energy tasks like laundry or dishwashing or EV charging during those times when your region's carbon intensity will be at its lowest. You can compare your usage to the regional CI number and see how well you're doing at reducing your home's carbon emissions by looking at how your average CI trends over time. Look back to see when your energy usage coincided with low carbon intensity times, or where there might be opportunities to do a bit better. So while you may not have rooftop solar and certainly no wind farm in your backyard, you can power more of your home with renewable energy by being smarter about how you time your energy usage and make a meaningful impact on climate change.